Okay, so yeah, basically you don't have motivation right now if you're watching this video and you're probably in uh, something called a rut as well, where you know you just had these few days when you don't want to do anything, you don't feel like doing anything, but you know there's something in the back of your mind that needs to get done. So the first thing that needs to be established is uh, you're in a rut because you have sort of fallen out of fallen off track with something you do normally that you find gives you sort of the feeling of like being productive for me personally i get i start getting in a rut after i fail some sort of like series of habits that i usually do and these habits are usually like i insert them in my morning routine or my uh, evening routine or just something like a commitment i do each day and what we want to do is just first of all we need to establish that this is completely normal it's completely normal to feel super like just super unmotivated uh, so you got to realize that life life you get these like peaks and troughs what i mean by that it goes up this is the peak down is the trough and with the peak you just feel like on top of the world you got you feel proud of yourself all these positive emotions you just got so much done and then it starts, you ride this wave and then you sort of go down into a trough. And this is what I'm exactly what I'm talking about. Just the low motivation. And you've got to normalize that. Why am I saying to normalize it? Well, because you, then you can anticipate it. When you're in that rut, you can then expect that so after this, once this passes, you're just going to be on your way up, up your peak. Uh, and it's just something good to keep in the back of your mind. Now, what do you actually do? You want to sort of, if you want to stop yourself going down, down this rabbit hole, you've got to break the pattern somehow. You've got to disrupt it. One of, the th one of the greatest things to disrupt this pattern is just exercise um, or just do something unexpected that you've never done before. Uh, for example, lockdown back in last March, we were in lockdown and I started running. Before that, I was not a runner. I was yeah i was not a runner if you told me before lockdown that i would start going running again i would have laughed in your face but i did it anyway just it's just something different and it what i noticed is so you get exercise yeah and you feel great after that and what that feeling after the exercise also does is it just uh, gets you out of the negative thought patterns and the negative mentality and that's one way to sort of get get you outside of that rut uh, another thing you might do is go for a walk go for a walk in like a natural park or somewhere that's just somewhere like full of trees and stuff like that um another thing you could do is meditate meditate is like the answer to all life's problems <laughs> and i'm not joking um so just do something different do something you've never done before and you'll disrupt that pattern another limiting belief is that uh, motivation if you don't have it it's sort of this thing like if you don't have it then you're not supposed to get anything done and you're not supposed to feel good if you do have it great you're on your way to crush your day and uh that's just not true you can't always rely on motivation to be there uh you're gonna f you're gonna have to do like rely on something that's just more concrete that's just going to be there um far longer I'm talking like being dedicated, being commit committed, uh, discipline, or just like your purpose, your why. You know, you've got to ask yourself, why am I doing this every single day? If it's the gym and you don't feel like it, you remind yourself, why am I even going here? What's the purpose of me going to the gym in the first place? You remind yourself and then it's actually pretty easy to get back, get back on track. Uh, if you're running a business... You know, why do I even want to, why am I even still running this business in the first place? What was my reason to start this in the first place? Um, to just do that, start with small wins. That's another thing. Start with small wins. You can't expect yourself to go from zero to a hundred uh, just like that. Okay, you've got to go from zero to ten, then ten to twenty. Uh, and you do that by doing small wins. And when I mean small wins, I'm talking like stuff as easy as making your bed. 
come on, it takes like five seconds to do your bed, right? Once you get out of bed every morning, just set a goal. You're going to make your bed. And then after that, I'm going to drink a glass of water. That could be your second win. After that, I'm going to do two minutes of meditation. I'm saying two minutes because, um, you know, anyone can do two minutes, right? You'd have to, <laughs> there has to be something wrong with you if you can't do two minutes. Uh, but if, you t if, if I said 10 minutes, see, that's a lot harder if you're not used to meditating. So just set like three, three wins for the day that are extremely doable, takes literally no effort to do. And then in the beginning, it's going to feel like you're doing nothing productive after that. But then if you keep doing it every day, it's just going to, you're going to go up, 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 um, up, and you're going to build momentum. And then that's when you th turn things up a notch. You, you used to do two minutes of meditation, up it to five minutes the next week and see how that goes. And then, and then up to 10, you know? One more thing as well is just you want to be like during this period of low motivation or like low mood, uh, you want to make sure you're getting the right foods in just to, just like good inputs. And because what Sam Ovens says, he says good inputs equals good outputs. Pretty like common sense. If you eat like good foods, if you're drinking a lot of water, if you're getting the exercise you need, then it. It just makes it so much easier to get out of this rut. Uh, so just cut cut like bad foods out during this period of time. Uh, get your exercise. I'm talking like not just food and drink. I'm talking like uh, your environment. I'm talking uh, what you see on a daily basis in terms of uh, social media, the news, TV, negative, like negative people. Um, just be really careful. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying cut it out all in one go. What's better is just do it gradually. Um, so it's not sort of a shock to the body and just do all these steps. And hopefully you get out of this rut because when you're watching this video, you're probably in a rut, right? Rut right now. Um, so after this video, just take, you know, eat good food, eat your vegetables, Get lots of protein, get lots of water, go out on walks, get some sun. I know it's like winter right now in the UK, but even if you just go out for a walk, you still get that fresh air. And yeah, this is just what I like to do um, when I'm not feeling it. So if you want more videos like these on just things outside of business, because I'm not, I'm not like a, I'm not a robot. <laughs> I'm not a robot. I'm not going to do these sort of business content every single video. Uh, but yeah, just let me know anyway, if you have any feedback, just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be doing more of these videos, and I'll see you in the next one.